grab your foam roller. We're gonna roll out our glute med. I'll show you what it looks like starting with your dominant tighter leg crossing over your non-dominant, not as tight leg shin. Point the toes, leaning into the hip of your top leg. Hands behind you, rolling out that fashion. Now stay here unless you happen to have a lacrosse ball or tennis ball and want to move into trigger ball rolling. Otherwise, we'll be here for a minute on the dominant leg side. If you have the trigger ball, you'll place it under the butt cheeks fascia, still with that cross, but you'll lie supine, toes pointed of the foot that's crossed, and go ahead and dig in. You can lean into that side, both if you're on the roller or using the trigger ball, and do circular motions. You can just lean, dig, breathe into that. 30 more seconds here, breathing together. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Keep that going, we inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, two more. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, last one here, inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, slowly, making your way to the other side, whether you're on the roller or you're using the trigger ball, set up on the other side, point the toes of the foot that's crossed over, and lean in, dig in. As you're working, try to keep your belly braced, your shoulders plugged down your back, whether you're lying or you're on the roller, chin up, gaze of the eyes. If it's on the ceiling because you're lying down, it should be a little higher than eye level. If you're seated on the roller, take it a little higher than eye level to the wall in front of you. Keep breathing here. 30 seconds to breathe together. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. We inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, Five, two more here, inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five. Wherever you are, let's set those props to the side, grabbing our small anti-burst ball, coming to lie supine, bracing the abs, and sending our pelvis up, placing the ball under our tailbone sacrum, Take your hands, your pointer fingers, to the bony protrusions of your hips. Guide them down, creating some lumbar extension. From here, brace the low belly and send your right leg up into the air, pointing the toes. From here, we're going to open that leg out to the side only as far as our shoulder for, for a modification of inner thigh curl with external rotation circles from the top Actually, we'll do internal towards the body. Circles towards the body of the leg from the top of the hip socket. Toes are plantar flexed. The leg is only as wide as your shoulder. So don't take it outside of the shoulder. That's gonna to put too much pressure. Make sure you're in neutral pelvis here. So somewhere between rounding and arching your low back, your belly is always in and you're breathing into the side body. So we'll take the leg out. We'll circle it in three times. And then inhale it back to center. Exhale, open it. Inhale, pause, bracing the abs. Exhale, circle it in. Two, three. Inhale it back to center. Exhale, open, circle in. Two, three. Inhale back to center. Two more. Exhale, open, only as wide as the shoulder. Circle in, point the toes. Two, three. Inhale back to center. And one more time. Exhale, opening, circling in. Two, three. Three, inhale back to center, lower that leg down. Give me a few pelvic tilts. Arch your back over the ball, bring it back to neutral. Exhale to arch, inhale to neutralize. Exhale, imagine a marble rolling from your belly button down towards your groin as you exhale and tip the pelvis towards the heels. And then you tip the pelvis back to neutral and the marble rolls back from the groin into the belly button. So just a little pelvic articulation. After you've done a couple of those, inhale, brace your abs, send your left leg up. Remember to not take it out farther 
than your shoulder. And you can always bend the knee a little bit if the hamstring won't allow you to straighten the leg. Don't lock the knee out if you are able to straighten the leg. Keep it micro bent. Point your toes, remember exhale, to take it out to the side, circling in towards the body. Two, three, inhale it back to center. Exhale to open, circling in. Two, three, inhale back to center. That's all it is. Brace your abs as you're working. Exhale, open, circle in two, three, and bring it back to center. And give me two more. Exhale, open, circle in, two, three, and back to center. And one more time, exhale, open, and circle in, two, three, and back to center. From here, brace your abs, send your pelvis up, sliding the antiburst ball out, finding your blue loop band to place above your elbows. Again, that's above the elbows and your small anti-burst ball to place between your inner thighs, bringing your hands onto your foam roller for a plank pose. Now, if having the hands on the roller is too much, you can keep the hands on the floor, but having, a, having them on a stability device allows you to access your low abs. Another modification could be coming down to the forearms if the hands is too scary. Ball between the inner thighs, you're not only pushing down into the hands on the roller, but you're also pulling out so you feel the resistance. Keep a micro bend in the elbows. Step your feet hip distance apart or together if you have no knee or, well, keep them hip distance apart for that ball's sake. Squeezing in with the inner thighs, puffing the upper back up, plugging your shoulders down, lifting your chin, taking your gaze about three to four feet in front of you so the neck flexors are involved. Exhale, tap the knees down. Two, three. Inhale, pick them up two, three. Exhale, tap them down, two, three. Inhale, pick them up, two, three, two. More, we tap them down, two, three. Hang on, pick them up, two, three. Brace your abs, one more down, two, three. And up, two, three. Come on to all fours. You can keep the ball between the, the thighs, tops of the shins and tops of the feet are down on the floor. Your wrists are right under your shoulders, micro bend in the elbows. Find cow pose, extending the pelvis and the upper back. Brace your abs here, hold cow pose with a micro bend in the elbows, pulling out on that band and pushing down into the floor with the hands. Inhale one, breathe. Exhale one. Inhale two. Exhale two. Inhale three. Exhale three. From here, we're going to tie our green TheraBand, that's the green TheraBand, a quarter of the way into our foam roller. We will then make sure that it's on the side of our dominant hand so we can load our dominant arm first, bringing the ball back between the inner thighs. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see that my toes are on the ground, tucked under. You're not balancing on your knees. That would be bad for the knees. So I'm gonna turn back square to you. My inner thighs will squeeze in on the ball. I'll wrap around the knuckles of my dominant stronger hand. I'll take lateral flexion. So imagine you're wearing a backpack of cement. You need to lean back here. When you side bend, do not lean forward. Pull your shoulder blades together, get a nice stretch in the side body, then add the loaded arm, hold it. Exhale the air out and inhale back up to center, arms come back down by your sides. So exhale to side bend, inhale to lift the loaded arm, exhale to hold, inhale back up to center, that's all it is. Exhale, side bend, inhale, add the bottom arm, exhale, hold, Inhale, back up to center. Give me two more. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, add the bottom arm. Exhale, hold. And inhale, back to center. Slowly step your knees off the roller. Switch sides. Remember the toes are tucked down on the floor. Try to find a neutral pelvis. So squeeze in on the ball and also extend your pelvis back a bit. Pull the core in. Let's get started on the other side. Remember, put that backpack of cement on. Let your upper back pull back, shoulder blades come together, chin lifts, gaze is a little higher than eye level. Side bending, adding the bottom arm, inhale, bracing the abs and holding in lateral flexion, exhale, and inhale back up to center. Exhale, side bending. Inhale, add the bottom arm. Exhale, hold, and inhale back up to center. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, add the bottom arm, chin up, Chin can look down on the diagonal, up on the diagonal, or stay center. Inhale, back to center. Give me one more. 
exhale, side bend. Inhale, add the bottom arm. Exhale, hold. Inhale, back up to center. Let's make our way back into cat and cow. Cow pose, bracing the abs, arching, tipping the tailbone back, chest and chin lift, hold cow pose. Inhale, one, breathe. Exhale, one. Inhale, two. Exhale, two. Inhale, three. Exhale, three. Great job. We're going to grab our green TheraBand, making our way over to a wall for some wall diamond standing. So you'll wrap, you'll hold the green TheraBand like you would a jump rope, and you'll wrap it around the knuckles with the thumbs on the outside, creating a diamond shape above your head. Elbows are bent. Our goal first and foremost is to brace our abs, keep our chin up, gaze a little higher than eye level, and imprint. Press the tailbone, mid-back, upper back, head, and the backs of the arms, wrists, hands into the wall. So let's imprint, two, three, four, bracing the abs, keep imprinting. Now that we've found our imprint, we're gonna to work to maintain it, and we are going to alternate diamond pulls. So they mimic a lot pull down or chicken wings on the Pilates reformer. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, pulling your dominant stronger arm down slowly for six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale it up, two, three, four, five, six. Switching sides, take it down, two, three, four, five, six. Lift it up, two, three, four, five, six. Keep alternating. Exhale to lower, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale to lift, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale to lower, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale to lift, two, three, four, five, six. Keep this going, fight for the tailbone, mid back, upper back, head, backs of the arms to remain imprinted as you move one arm. The isometric hold of the other arm as one arm is moving is also equally important. Watch out for shoulder elevation. Plug the shoulders down. You should have a deep bend in, in both elbows at all times, so at no point is the arm locking and straight. Firm the low belly. There's a tendency as you pull the arm down to watch it with the eyes, and that throws the neck forward and tenses up the back of the neck, which is not what we want. So avoid that by finding a focal point on the wall to fixate your eyes on and make sure it's a little higher than eye level. Relax your jaw, facial muscles, chest, brace your abs, finish up the one you're on. Once you've done that, we're gonna do an upper back pendulum to release the upper back. So set your green TheraBand to the side, watch me, tailbone is connected to the wall, just my torso is gonna to fold forward. I'm gonna relax the back of my neck. I'm gonna inhale. And on my exhale, I'm gonna let my arms circle away from one another. External rotation of the arms from the shoulder sockets. At no point does my pelvis leave the wall. So my tailbone stays connected to the wall. My knees are soft. Let's try it together. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, rounding down, relaxing the neck, relaxing the facial muscles. Inhale, prepare, bracing the abs. Exhale, the arms circle away from one another, two. Three, four, inhale, pause, brace the abs. Exhale, the arms circle away from one another. Two, three, four, one more time. Inhale, bracing the abs, keep pushing the tailbone into the wall. Exhale, circle the arms away from one another. Two, three, four, inhale, rounding up upper back. Rounding up mid back to upper back, imprinting the back as you come back up. From here, we'll grab our five pound weight holding it in our dominant, stronger hand first, coming into a wall cactus position. So now we're in a goal post cactus position with the arms, still fighting for that imprint. So tailbone, mid back, upper back, head, backs of the arms, wrists, hands, and watch that the wrists don't start bending or flexing, that you keep them nice and flat so it doesn't become a wrist exercise. Our loaded arm is gonna press overhead, so we're gonna to inhale to lift, two, three, four. Exhale to lower it, two, three, four. All the while maintaining that imprint. Inhale, lift, two, three, four. Exhale, lower, two, three, four. Keep that going. 
Inhale, lift, two, three, four. Exhale, lower, two, three, four. Nice and steady. Inhale, lift, two, three, four. Exhale, lower, two, three, four. Pass that weight to the other side. Let's set up on the other side, building our upper back strength with these presses and fighting for the imprint to open the front body, chest, anterior delts. Begin when you're ready, chin up, gaze a little higher than eye level. Inhale to lift, two, three, four. Exhale to lower, two, three, four. Again, inhale, lift, two, three, four. Exhale, lower, two, three, four. You're doing great, keep that up. Inhale, lift, two, three, four. Exhale, lower, two, three, four. Almost there, we lift, two, three, four. And lower, two, three, four. Let's set that weight to the side. We're now gonna grab that green TheraBand and tie it a quarter of the way into our foam roller. Once you do this, we are going to do sparkler arms standing on the roller. So I'll demonstrate first. I'm gonna step up and my feet are hip distance apart. I'm wrapping my toes as a bird would around a branch around the roller getting a nice point through my feet, trying to connect my feet to the roller. My knees are soft. My outside arm, I'll start with my dominant stronger arm, is in shoulder flip, is in scaption, excuse me, scaption. So that is a little more to the side than, it's like a V position versus a T or a frontal raise. Palm is facing in towards the center of the body, wrist is slightly below the shoulder, and there's a micro bend in the elbow. Let's try it together. Once you get into scaption, you'll do three circles out from the top of the shoulder and then lower the arm down. So we inhale, lift, exhale, circle, two, three, and lower. Inhale, lift, and don't lift beyond the shoulder. Exhale, circle, two, three, and lower. Keep going like that. Inhale to lift, exhale, circle, two, three, and lower. Three more on this side, inhale, lift, Exhale, circle, wrap those toes around the roller, soft bend in the knees, gaze up higher than eye level. Inhale, lift, plug the shoulders down. Exhale, circle the arm, two, three, from the top of the shoulder. And final set, imagine you're wearing that backpack of cement, use your upper back, get out of the front of the shoulders, low belly bracing. Wonderful, slowly stepping off. Turn to face the wall, the arm you just worked, bring it into a T and twist away from it, keeping a micro bend in the elbow. Hold it here. Inhale one, breathe. Exhale one, soft bend in the knees. Inhale two, chin up. Exhale two, gaze soft. Inhale three. Exhale three, collarbone wide. Inhale four. Exhale four, low belly firm. Inhale five. Exhale five. And inhale six. Exhale, turning back to the wall, stepping over your roller, switching sides, wrapping around your non-dominant, not as strong hands, knuckles with the thumb on the outside, soft bend in the knees, hold on to your wall bar or counter as you step up onto your foam roller, feet hip distance apart. Find those bird feet, wrapping the toes around the roller. Inhale to lift the arm. Exhale to circle away from the body three times and lower the arm down. Keep the shoulders plugged down, inhale to lift. Exhale to circle, two, three, and lower. Inhale to lift. Exhale to circle, two, three, and lower. Keep that going. Inhale, lift. Exhale, circle, two, three, and lower. Two more sets. Inhale, lift. Exhale, circle, two, three, and lower. And final set, plug the shoulders down, chin up, gaze higher than eye level. And exhale, circle, two, three, and lower. Bending the knees, slowly coming off the roller. The working arm, bring it to the wall, T position, micro bend in the elbow. Soft bend in the knees, twisting away from that arm. Plug the shoulders down, chin up, hold. Inhale one, breathe. Exhale one. Inhale two. Exhale two. Inhale three. Exhale three. Inhale four. 
exhale four, inhale five, exhale five, and inhale six, brace your abs, exhale, turning back to face the wall and back to knee. Great job. Grab your red loop band. You're gonna bring your wrist through it, facing me for a side body and psoas release. Cross your right leg behind your left, arching your upper back and side bending to the left as if you had a backpack of cement on so that you cannot lean forward at all. If anything, you're almost falling backwards with the upper back. Shoulder blades are pulling together. Deeply bend your knees and then tuck your butt under like a scared puppy and push your pelvis towards me. Opening up the back legs, hip flexor as we open up the side body. Hold it here. Inhale one. Breathe. Hang in there. Exhale one. Inhale two. Exhale two. Inhale three. Exhale three. Inhale back up to center. Brace your abs and side bend one more time. Put that backpack of cement on. Inhale two. Good. Exhale two. Inhale three. Exhale three. And bring it all the way up. Uncross the legs, lower the arms for a moment, roll the shoulders back for five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and from here, let's switch sides, taking the arms up, pulling out on that band, crossing the other leg back, bending the knees deeply, tucking the pelvis under like a scared puppy, driving the hips forward, taking the arms overhead, pulling out on that band, side bending, you can turn the head down or up on the diagonal or keep it center. Make sure the gaze is higher than eye level unless you're turning it down in the diagonal, which in that case you'll be looking a little farther forward on the floor. Plug your shoulders down, widen your collarbone. Inhale yourself back to center. Brace the abs one more time, side bending. Remember that backpack of cement, arch your upper back. Inhale, feel your pelvis ground down towards the floor. Exhale, feel your inner thighs pull back as you push your pelvis towards me. Tuck the butt under, bend the knees. One more breath here. Inhale, brace your abs. And exhale, inhale back up to center. We're going to now bring the green TheraBand, tying it a quarter of the way into our foam roller. We will be doing some hip flexor and shoulder flexion work. So knee flexion and shoulder flexion. So the arm work, I'm gonna demo, you're gonna need your red loop band on your ankles and the red loop band looks like this. I'll place it on as a visual for you. Please put it on. I have lordotic posture, so this is not good for my posture, so I'm not gonna use the band, but you are, red loop band. And if it, the red loop band becomes too much, go back to level two's green loop band. Now with the green TheraBand tied a quarter of the way in, I'm gonna start by stepping up onto the roller with my dominant stronger leg farthest away from the wall. Just watch. And then my outside hand will come to shoulder flexion, the wrist will be flat, the elbow will be micro bent, shoulders plugged down, soft bend in both knees, legs perfectly parallel. Inside leg, I'll point the toes, I'll lift it up, two, three, lower it down, two, three, into knee flexion, up, two. And what I do not wanna see is the pelvis rounding because you're lifting the thigh too high. I'd rather the thigh only come up a little bit and you maintain a neutral pelvis, somewhere between rounding and arching your low back. Let's try it together. Step on up, find your balance, find shoulder flexion, soft bend in the knees. Don't look down, keep your focus of your eyes higher than eye level. Let's begin with that inside leg. You have the red loop band on because it's good for your hip flexor strength, for you gaining hip flexor strength. And we'll take that leg up, two, three, Lower down, two, three. Let's go on a four count, even slower. Inhale, lift, two, three, four. Exhale, lower, two, three, four. Inhale, lift, two, three, four. Exhale, lower, two, three, four. Inhale, lift, two, three, four. Exhale, lower, two, three, four. Three more, lifting, two, three, four. Lowering, two, three, four. Two more, inhale, two, three, four. Notice the arm is staying fixed. Shoulder plug down, last one, inhale, two, soft bend in your supporting knee, abs in, keep fighting for that neutral pelvis, bend the knees and slowly stepping off of your roller. Coming to the other side, be careful getting up, feel your pelvis ground down, knees stay soft, hold on to that wall bar or counter. Set up with the outside hand in shoulder flexion, shoulders plugged down, chin up, gaze higher than eye level. Once you are ready, inside leg comes up to knee flexion, 
we lift it up two three four lowering down two three four remember only lift as high as you're able to maintain that neutral pelvis somewhere between rounding and arching your low back lifting up and lowering down firm your belly keep the hips even collarbone wide shoulder blades fighting to find one another two more together inhale lift two three four exhale lower two three four inhale lift two three four exhale lower two three four from here soft bend in the knees as you make your way off of our roller grabbing your anti-burst ball and from here we'll go back to our dominant side our stronger side and we'll step up with the green theraband now and the ball placing the ball between the inner thighs wrapping the band around the knuckles of our outside hand thumb on the outside inhale prepare soft bend in the knees watch first exhale sitting back into a regular squat and pressing the arm overhead into shoulder flexion let's try it together holding at the bottom for three breaths inhale prepare exhale inner thighs pull us back hold it here exhale the air out inhale one breathe exhale one inhale two exhale two inhale three exhale three inhale standing up exhale inner thighs pull you back hold it back inhale one breathe exhale one inhale two exhale two inhale three keep your focus up higher than eye level exhale three inhale standing up take go ahead and drop the green band and take that outside hand to the hip inhale prepare exhale inner thighs pull you back into your squat and we're going to begin some torso twist with cross punches on our exhale so inhale prepare feeling the pelvis pull towards the roller exhale inner thighs pull back as you twist your torso towards the wall punching your outside arm two three four inhale prepare pelvis grounds down exhale twist and punch two three four inhale prepare pelvis grounds down exhale twist and punch two three four inhale soft bend in the knees slowly making your way off the roller setting up on the other side shoulder flexion ball between the inner thighs soft bend in the knees inhale prepare exhale inner thighs pull you back into your squat holding the arm and shoulder flexion inhale one breathe exhale one inhale pelvis grounds down exhale inner thighs pull back inhale pelvis grounds down exhale squeeze in on that ball inhale stand up without locking the knees second set exhale sit back hold it back inhale one breathe exhale one soften the sternum breastbone and front ribs towards the back body plug your shoulders down wrap the toes around the roller inhale to stand up without locking the knees let go of the green theraband bring that outside hand to the hip inhale prepare exhale let your inner thighs pull you back bracing the abs torso twist in the direction of the wall on your exhale two three four inhale recenter pelvis grounds down exhale inner thighs pull back and you twist two from your rib cage inhale prepare exhale and twist two three four inhale center all the way up exhale inner thighs pull you back inhale prepare exhale torso twist and punch two three four inhale center pelvis grounds down exhale torso twist and punch two three four inhale center exhale twist and punch two three four and inhale rising back up let's grab our green theraband and um, a yoga block coming to lie on our backs for a hamstring stretch placing the block under our head and the green theraband the, around the arch of our dominant or stronger legs foot flexing the foot to capture the band extending the other leg out long hold it here six breaths inhale one breathe exhale one fight for a neutral pelvis inhale two exhale two extending your pelvis towards the bottom of the mat creating that mouse hole between the low back and the floor widen your collarbone imprint the mid back and upper back lift your chin gaze up at the ceiling a little higher than eye level point the toes of the extended leg don't lock that knee out though one more breath here bending the knee slowly lowering it switching to the non-dominant not as tight leg once it's up begin your breathing but make sure your hips are square 
Bony protrusions of the hips are shining like headlights evenly. The leg that's lifted, make sure that hip isn't hiking. Pull it down towards the bottom of the mat. Softly bend the knee if needed. Pull the abs in. Tip your pelvis down, creating the mouse hole between the low back and the floor. Two more breaths here together. Inhale, two, three, four, five. And exhale, two, three, four, five. We inhale, two, three, four, five. And exhale, two, three, four, five. Great job.